Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. Uh, it's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Huh? Uh, what? What's going on? An explosion in the city! Is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it. They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track... Trillin! How are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? If it's me you're after, then show your faces already! Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Maybe one of the other guys found them. Where are you? Tianxian Hunt! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha? Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it.
So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tie, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. They know about all of us as well. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So... Before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giro remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giro himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giro is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Well, then, what do you say? Yeah! <laughs> 
would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. He absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! Uh, absorb the attacks? Uh, give me a break! Uh, what? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man. I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Yeah. If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Gohan! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me. Are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. <laughs>
Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this! I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. 
<laughs> You're not going anywhere. I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify Android Terror. Android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne, got any? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely hiding somewhere. Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! <laughs> Find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> well, now, this could be fun. <laughs> Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. to say it, but we might have lost him. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Go on. Androids, get over here! Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. <laughs> How did they find me? What does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Taking your energy. I will eliminate. I will eliminate. Damn it. I will eliminate. Terrible error. 
trying to fight me alone. You hope to accomplish huh? I will eliminate you. A weakling like you hope to accomplish. Dermot, your energy is mine. A weakling like you hope to accomplish. <laughs> These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Oh, 
Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Jero's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. The kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry, we've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. 